Hello. Hello. All right, guys. What do we have in store today? What are we making? We're making crab lines. Yeah. Crab lines. And what are we going to do with crab lining? We're going to be catching crabs. Catching crabs? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Have you ever yeah. gone crab lining before? No. No. This is our first time. Mm-hmm. So what do we do? What do we, how do we get the items you have in front of you? What are they? What are we going to need? Sticks. We're going to need sticks and we're going to need weights and we're going to need some clips. Some clips, some clothespins and? String. And some string. And uh, so we didn't buy these pieces of wood. What do we do? What we did is we went down the road, we found this wood, and we picked them up, we took them home, and we started painting them with all different colors of paint. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you decorated them a little bit. See, we're going to decorate it even more today. Even more today. That sounds amazing. I love yeah, that. I can't wait. All right, so we're going to show how we make our very own crab lining stick to catch crabs. All right, so we're going to have a couple steps right after this. What are you doing? Just mixing some paint? Look, I made a lighter color. See? Now I made a lighter color. See? A lighter cutter. What are you making? You want to leave about this length of string. <laughs> now we're going to need a clip and a weight. You want to tie the string around the weight. You can use a one pound weight or a two pound weight. We're using a two pound weight. Put the string through the small 
要厚。Now we're done. We're fit. Now we're finished. We can go crab lining. Yay! So what kind of bait do you guys use? Chicken wings. Chicken Hot wings. Dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah. All right. Chicken nuggets. I don't know about chicken nuggets. Yeah, maybe chicken nuggets. How about fries? No, don't think they. <laughs> How about chicken noodle soup? That adds. No, no chicken noodle soup. How about chicken fries? No. Okay, so we're gonna try to attach our GoPro using our underwater kit to the cage to see if we can record some of the crabs attacking uh, the chicken that's in there. I think it'd be kind of interesting to share. Uh, first thing I did was to make sure that my phone still connect because uh, I haven't used this GoPro in quite some time and it does, so success there. We are now just going to put our GoPro in Make sure the seal is nice and tight. Clean off the lens here. And while looking in the camera, try to find a position that we think will look pretty decent here to catch what we got. Uh, I don't know if you can see that right now. All right, so you can see it on the screen there. We're just gonna utilize some zip ties and zip tie it too. I didn't want to take the float off. I was afraid if something happened, uh, I believe the cage will be heavy enough with the chicken that we're using as bait to keep it from floating back to the top. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, so that's all good. Um, we'll be actually turning it off. I'll be able to do that. I know which spot to put it in. And just want to make sure that I can still reach the button. Turn it on. And I can, so that's good news. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing. Is zip tying it there. I think I'll do it at the place, and uh, we'll be all set with that. Hopefully, we get some good pictures. So here's what we got on deck for today for our first ever crabbing adventure using some chicken there got a couple different cage types baskets nets and uh, crab lining that we made and we have a few extras in here so hopefully we'll have some good results Just keep, don't let, don't drop your stick. Is it All the way in the water. Yeah. Help her out, you gotta stand up maybe.
put another one. A little too small. This month's string. Mm -hmm. this stop, month. stop, stop. This month. All right, leave this much of string and say, Aubrey, so you can add the weight in the clip, okay? Okay. And hold the clip of the weight. All right, no more, no more, no more. All right, you ready? You guys? 